Hey Propel Junior, I hope you kids are excited to be here today because we're beginning a brand new series called The Big Sandbox. Now when I was little, I loved playing in the sandbox. I loved building sandcastles, digging around in the sand. Every once in a while, I would even find a toy that somebody lost in the sandbox. But most of all, I love playing in the sandbox with my friends. And in this series, we're going to be looking at that thought of friendship. And not just any friendship, kids. We're going to be talking about the friendship that we can have with Jesus Christ. So I hope you came ready to learn and to listen. Let's get started with the Big Sandbox. so I can start playing. Phew, that was a lot of work. But look, I finished the sandbox. 
Wow. I love, love, love it. I can't wait to start playing. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hi there, Zoe. Who? Who? Playing with sand, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yep, I sure am. I just love, love, love my new sandbox. Loving the sandbox is a great thing to do. But I have a story about real love for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> Stormy Jane. Oh, hi, friends. Stormy, look, it's our friends. You'll have to forgive her. She got a new toy. And as you can tell, it's very squeaky. <laughs> she loves it. Don't you love it, Stormy? <laughs> so today's story is about some very important people who came to see Jesus. And Jesus loved those people even more than Stormy loves her squeaky toy. So the true story from the Bible begins with Jesus about to teach a crowd of people. Wow, that's a lot of people. It seems like everyone wanted to hear what Jesus had to say. Now see if you can spot the very important people who came to see Jesus. There were lots of adults, moms and dads and aunts and uncles. There were teachers and doctors and carpenters and fishermen and Stormy Jane. Wait, Stormy Jane, you weren't in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. <gasps> Look, I see the very important people. There they are. It's children. They wanted to go see Jesus too. But Jesus' disciples stopped them. No, 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 they said. The disciples told the children to stop and go away. But Jesus called the children to him and said, let the little children come to me. So they did. Jesus opened his arms wide and the children came. Jesus told the crowd to never stop children from coming to see him because children are very important to him. Did you hear that, friends? You are important to Jesus. He loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus loved the children, and he loves you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that was such a great story. Jesus showed that he loves children so much. Jesus loves me and you too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. You know what? I love this sandbox. But Jesus loves us even more. Wow, that's a lot of love. You know what? I should let my friends know that there's a special surprise for them at the clubhouse. I'll see you next time. Bye. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17.